Hello, people. Welcome back to the best Karuma channel here on YouTube today. Back on Football Life 23 with Tyrese Tinnebird. Today, we have some added mods. We keep adding mods every single episode. Ladies and gentlemen, just to make this series as best as it can be. A little mod, uh, a font mod. We added fonts. You can literally add anything to Football Life. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, but here we go in a brand new season. And of course, last episode, we ended off the season. And right now, we are still with... Arsenal, ladies and gentlemen. We are still with Arsenal, but of course the transfer window is open. So, I know a lot of people have been saying Manchester City are the team they want to see Tinabu with. Of course, big Erling Haaland on the bench. So, we're going to get a transfer request in for them. I don't think they're going to accept, but it's a nice one. Again, in the comments down below, let me know what team do you think Tyrese Tinabu would work well at? Where do you think he should go and what team... Do you think he should be? And of course, Arsenal are not in the Champions League this year. So maybe he moves to a Champions League team. Who knows? There's a lot of days before the opener. But today's episode was all about the African Regional Qualifiers group stage. We have Egypt, Ghana and Mali. Three World Cup qualifiers. We have a World Cup scoreboard now, finally, which hopefully should be working. We have an AFCON scoreboard. We have uh, 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 Bundes. We have every scoreboard now is added, ladies and gentlemen. And then we uh, kick off the season uh, at home against Middlesbrough. Now... I've also fixed the Premier League scoreboard, the one that uh, we recently added, the USA one. It has the logos now. I made a community post about it. So I kind of want to stay in the Premier League just for that. Maybe we stay at Arsenal for more season. Who knows? But again, in the comments, let me know what team you think Tinnebu uh, should go to. I am loving this series. This is my favorite series right now. I'm absolutely loving it alongside Dragon Man, and I can't stop playing it. So leave a thumbs up on the video and let's get started. Right, three days. So every three days, you get them back. Okay, so... Manchester City said no to us. The thing is, I don't really want to go to like a Man U, a Chelsea, obviously not Spurs. And I don't want to go to like a lower down Prem team because why would you go to a lower down team when, when he's already at Arsenal? He's already at a four and a half star team. A lot of people are saying Syria, potentially go to the Syria, but do we think he would actually, like, is that actually a smart move? Like Arsenal have what, 83, 86, 81. He doesn't want to go to a worse team just for the sake of it. I remember Arsenal are the ones that came in for him. It's not even like he asked Arsenal. I think, honestly, one more season at Arsenal is the way to go. I really, really do. Tyrese Tinubu playing up front. 79. Of course, he can play striker now. 20 years of age. Playing up front is Tyrese Tinubu. As a striker, they have Mo Salah, of course. Playing a 4-3-3. Okay, interesting. I wonder if we're going to be playing up front for Arsenal as well. Sleeves rolled up. Today's an RK day. And today's video is brought to you by the RPW Universe website. Regents Pro Wrestling is the number one wrestling show in sports entertainment and today you can sign your own contract in RPW. Let's take a look. These buttons in the middle are clickable so you can click them and it takes you to those shows rosters. World Wars on Toxic Thursday and Friday Night Fury. Let me know what brand is the best. It has the show intro right there as well. You can click on champions, take you to the champions. If you click on the championship belt, ladies and gentlemen, it then takes you to the spreadsheet for the entire history of that championship. It's absolutely insane. We have the next premium live event coming up. We have the spreadsheet information. We have all of the awards from season one and then we have my favorite thing ladies and gentlemen the rpw universe magazine if you click on the magazine right here go full screen you literally have a full recap of the last week in rpw you can scroll across and read through the week of action uh, of rpw that has just recently happened ladies and gentlemen these are going to be released every single week the entire week recap of rpw is going to be right here in magazine form there are also some superstar magazines so if you want to read about the women's revolution in rpw you can read all about that right here as well we then also have our merch of course if you want to rep the number one wrestling show in sports entertainment in real life feel free to go ahead wear it loud and proud and then we have a little about section about how you can join if you become a youtube member today ladies and gentlemen you get your own contract signed in regents pro wrestling if you need any more information about it join our discord also link in the description you can talk to some of our superstars face to face and they can tell you about the praises and amazingness of joining rpw hopefully we'll see you in the ring rk signing out keep those sleeves rolled up we go then like i say fifa world cup we have the scoreboards we have the overlays and everything like that of course it is for the actual uh, World Cup. This is just the this is the African uh, 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 qualifiers, but whatever. It's still it's still nice to have an official scoreboard in there. A lovely looking stadium, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, we have the new gameplay mods and whatnot. Tinabu up top, number seven, and here we go. FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. Obviously, it's not to 2022 anymore, but it's still nice to have an actual scoreboard. I think. I think it looks way better, ladies and gentlemen. We have an awesome new gameplay mod. Added. I don't know if I spoke about it last episode or not, but it basically 
uh, gets rid of the AI scripting and makes the matches way more realistic against different opponents and stuff like that. So uh, I'm very, very, very excited to try it out, ladies and gentlemen. I've been so excited to play some Tinabu. Tyrese as a striker. Maybe one more season with Arsenal. And then next season, maybe. Because I know a lot of people, they didn't want him to join uh, to begin with. But again, Mikel came in for Tyrese. It's not like Tyrese asked to join Arsenal. And now, uh, he, you know, he doesn't want to go to a worse team just for the sake of it. Where, you know, when he's at an Arsenal... Um, no point going to a low-down team just for the sake of it. Oh, a bit too much on that pass. It would be nice to see Tyree scoring for his nation. We have three matches for Senegal here today before starting the Premier League, potentially. All up on the left-hand side, crossed in. A bit too close to the keeper. Good save, Mendy. All down line. Tyree's Tinabu. Oh, way too much on that pass. He was looking up to the right side, Sadio Mane, but way too much on that one. Again, ball up on that left-hand side. Ball goes in. Strikers fighting the defenders with it. Not the best of clearances. Again, cross in. That one's cleared a little better. Ooh, lovely touchdown. Beautiful touchdown out to the left-hand side again. Looking for number 18. Mo Salah lurking back post as well. We need to keep it away from Mohamed Salah at all costs. Lovely. Ball down to the left-hand side, but blocked by the defender. Good effort there. There is Mo Salah cutting inside. That's what you don't want him to do. Nice one too, number nine. Keep it off his left foot, ladies and gentlemen. The Egyptian captain. On his left foot, ball into the middle. It's blocked. Egypt with possession early doors, playing a lot of crosses into the box. A lot of crosses for Senegal. Not the best to start so far. Tyrese up front wants to show that he can actually play striker. Um, and so far, I think we're top of our group. I think Egypt are second. I think we're top. I might be wrong. We're going to have to look at our group stage after. And I also don't know how many teams go through, one or two. I'm guessing it's either one or two. It wouldn't be three, I don't think. But here's hoping... We can qualify for the World Cup and have a big national push with Tinabu. Did he go for gold? Oh my god, he's just scored. Oh. Oh my god. I did not think he went for gold then. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't know what he was doing. From a goal, he just scored from the halfway line on a volley. Ladies and gentlemen, he just scored. From the halfway line with a volley. Oh my god. I didn't know what was going on. I was like, why is he shooting? And then I realized the keeper was off his line. Jesus Christ, against the run of form. I mean, we you, you will not see a better goal than that in your lifetime at football. Oh my god. I can't believe what I've just seen. A volley literally from his own half. Surveying the scene in space in the middle. Nice ball. There's off the midfielder. Back out to the right side. Tinabu. Over to the right back. Tyrese in the box now. Not really a target man. Sort of striker. Tyrese on the edge of the box. Right back still dribbling with it. Goes nowhere. Not the best of passes. But he got it off. Nice fake shot through. Tyrese. Lovely first time shot. But goes nowhere near with the finish. Lovely first touch, I should have said. Lovely first touch. But the finish, not there. Shorty went out of play. They go down line. Mo Salah in the box. If they can find the cutback. They do go to Mo Salah. Don't let him cut on his left foot. Ball into the middle. Good block. We can break with it. Tyrese Tinabu now. Space up on that left-hand side. Oh, not enough on the chip through ball. Oh, lovely through ball. He's slow off his line. And what a finish. Lovely through ball. Mustafa Mohamed. Beautiful finish. Absolutely. Top draw. First time pass. Look at this from Mo Salah. Bosch. First time finish. Love the animation. Great goal, CPU. Again, I'm loving the gameplay mod. I don't think we deserve to be winning anyway. So it's probably fair that they do indeed equalize. Jesus Christ, what a foul. I think they just took off Salah. Ten minutes to play to try and find a winner. Oh, lovely Tyrese. Read that interception. Into the middle. Oh, he should have come back to TT. Go down now. Do not go down now. Long shot on target. Good save, keeper. I like the amount of chances and highlights and whatnot you get. The difference in gameplay is incredible. Oh, lovely header. TT making a run. Oh, ball all the way up. Oh, I think Mane, oh, I think he missed heart start. I don't think he passed it. I think it hit off his heel, flicked up into the air. Beautiful pass through. But this one's going to end 1-1. One, one. A couple late half chances. We don't take them, though. That's unfortunate. I say that, ladies and gentlemen. I say that. They could try to steal it. No. 
I think it's going to end shortly. Ref, you said 92 minutes. You said two minutes added. Well, as soon as we get the ball, you're going to call it, aren't you? Yeah, of course. So we are top. Ghana have 10 points. Egypt have 9. So it's very close at the top, but we are there. Well, first v second then. Here we got to put the wrong scoreboard on. My apologies. But Senegal v Ghana in the World Cup. Qualifiers, ladies and gentlemen. I tried this one. It's called ESPN Group Stage. It didn't work. So at least now I know uh, for the World Cup just to use this World Cup 2022 one. But that is A-OK, -okay, ladies and gentlemen. We have a lot of scoreboards to test out. So I thought I might as well test them. See how it goes. Nice ball up, Mane. Tight angle. Nowhere near for TT. Good early chance, though. Good early chance. Got into a decent position. Again, playing striker. First v second. Two of the better teams, I would say. Ghana and Senegal. In this group, it's going to be a tough one. We had our Ghanaian player, actually. Who was uh, our Ghanaian player? I'm pretty sure we've had a, had a Ghanaian. Was it on FIFA? Or Pez? I can't remember. But there's definitely been somewhere for Ghana before. Was it Oduro? Kojo Oduro, I think, might have been from Ghana. I can't quite remember. We've definitely had someone there before, though. Good nation. Good team. Going to be a challenge. Right, so far we are under the cush, ladies and gentlemen. First time shot is blocked. Still in the box. Cleared up to Tyrese Tinabu. Nice ball over to Mane. Up into the middle now. One more for TT. Pushing it. That's why I love Manuel. You can fully choose where he's going. Out to the left-hand side. Tyrese Tinabu in the box. First time shot on his left. Fur wide side netting. TT down this right-hand side. Anyone in the box? Oh, maybe could have dived there. Take a corner. Take a corner. Oh, TT taking the corner. Don't mind. If I do, lovely ball in as well. Big head goes over. What a chance. Tyrese on the shoulder of the defenders. Oh, where are you going? Tyrese going to chase it. I don't think he's going to necessarily get there. No, he's not. Terrible pass. Quick free kick. Up to the right side. Lamptey. Pushing forward, edge of the box. Fatawu long shot. Is blocked. Can we get it down? Up to his left hand side. Oh, bad pass for TT. Awkward. Not the best debut playing striker here. Two matches. Not too many chances, shots or goals for Tyrese Tinnabu playing striker. I don't know if he will play striker for Arsenal or not with Jesus, Martinelli and the likes. So obviously very uh, easily rotatable though. You know, Trossard has... Well, Trossard's not there anymore, but Jesus, uh, Martinelli and whoever else can all switch in and out in all of those positions, which is nice. Here is Titi up to... The right side referee, surely a free kick and is. Do we take a quick up to Manny? No, 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 no. Oh, but I don't know how manual free kicks work. Oh, that power bar went up very quickly. Oh, my God. Okay. That power bar went up super quickly. Oh, lovely back heel. For Tyrese Tinnabu, definitely could have got closer. Good shot on target. Definitely could have took another couple of dribbles. Closer to the goal, though. Really could have. The defense opened up for him. Laying it off down to the left-hand side now. Again, into Tyrese Tinabu. Over to the left. Is blocked. Oh, my God. Struggling with the passing. Good tackle. Into the middle. Tyrese. Don't know why it's in the air, but it's fine. Tyrese was running on the left-hand side. Doesn't use him. Oh, too much. Too much. Reminder, the goal for this season with Arsenal, ladies and gentlemen, if we do end up staying, which it, it's looking like he's going to stay for this season at least, because I don't know. It doesn't make sense to go to, like, a West Ham or, like, a Southampton, like, a lower down Prem team, because he's already at our Arsenal, you know, but... With the fact that we're not in uh, Champs or Europa League or anything, I think the goal is well, he has to get at least 10 goals, right? 10 goals or 10 assists, like one or the other. He needs double digits in one of them uh, in his career, finally. I think this is the season, surely. That is the goal, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, we can get top four. Maybe win a domestic trophy or at least challenge 4-1. That is the aim for this season. Don't concede now. Don't concede now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Last kick of the game. Last kick of the game. Lovely finish. Lovely finish. And that is just typical, ladies and gentlemen. Literally, last kick of the game. Ghana steal it. Ghana steal it. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe what I've just witnessed. We dropped a second in our group. I don't know exactly what that means, but it's not ideal. One game left. We weren't selected for the final. Oh, we win 3-1. We win 3-1. Did Ghana lose? I didn't see. No, they drew. So we're joint with them, but they're top and goal difference. Surely top two go through though, right? Uh, they're friendlies. They're friendlies. 
I don't know when the World Cup is. Tyrese Tinubu is playing up front. Martin Odegaard on the right side. Gabriel Martinelli on the left. We are playing up front. Uh, no big name signings, I can tell. Come Phillips is in. Okay, M Middlesbrough at home, ladies and gentlemen. Come on now, right? Oh, the nighttime kickoff. The Emirates Stadium looks beautiful for another day, another season. Hopefully this time of triumph. Last year was awful. Tyrese Tinabu starts up top here today. Number 26 is back at the Emirates Stadium, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go. Nice through. Why are the logos not there? I literally tested this. I, I made a, I've done a, a community post with this scoreboard and the logos were working, ladies and gentlemen. And now all of a sudden they're not, they're not there. Outrageous. Tinnabu, first shot already. Venomous, but it's saved. Premier League is underway. I literally had a community post. The logos were working in the scoreboard and it looks so nice. I don't know where they are. I'll have another look at that. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, but that's a little bit annoying. I kind of wanted to see it to end off the episode. Tyrese, nice fake shot. Too far. Fresh year, ladies and gentlemen. It's a fresh season. And here we go. Tyrese is getting 10 goals or 10 assists this season. He's going to be a, he's going to be a dominant force. We're going to get top four. We're going to challenge for the league. Get Champions League next year. Maybe win a little FA Cup. You know. Oh, ball falls to Tyrese Tinabu. Over to Martin Odegaard. Slowed it down now. Smith throw. Lovely ball up to Martin Odegaard. Touching shot. I told you, ladies and gentlemen. This is the season for Arsenal. We're going to have a fun season this year. A full season with the Gunners. It's going to be a fun one. Go celebrate Martin Odegaard. I'm going to fix the scoreboard as well. But other than that, it's all looking good. Lovely finish. Lovely finish. Great through ball from Smith Rowe. And beautiful finish. Martin Odegaard on the right wing. Scores the first goal of the season to Martinelli. TTR. We passed it into our foot for crying out loud. I'm going to start how we mean to go on. I want to see like a 2 3 niller. Because we didn't really do that last year. We didn't really like seal out teams. You know, we scored like one or, got one or two goals here and there. But we didn't really like seal out, like dominate teams last season after joining Arsenal. And that's what I want to see more of with the Gunners. Nice tackle. Oh, this referee's having a blunder. It looks like Klasnach. Oh, Udi, Udi. Lovely ball. Tyrese Tinapu lets it bounce. Goes for a goal. <laughs> we told you. Tyrese Tinapu, striker Tinapu. What a ball. Martin Odegaard on the right wing, by the way. Incredible. TT26 is here to stay. Doubles the advantage. Odegaard gone. I wish Odegaard was captain. Oh, that is one of the, that is one of the best goals TT scored. One of the best goals TT scored. He's always been so good at making these striker runs. Let's it bounce. Keeper comes out quickly. Beats the keeper to it, though. And sneaks it in. Tyrese Tinabu, first goal of the season. He's definitely getting 10 this season. He's definitely getting 10. What a ball, Odegaard. Let's it bounce. Tyrese Tinabu, little touch over the keeper. Oh, my goodness. That's what we love to see in front of the home fans. He needs to change up his trim. I like his trim, but maybe he needs to change up. He's kept the same trim this season. What a goal. Oh, my God. I'm loving it. So you can really tell the difference I, against a team like Middlesbrough, newly promoted. And then wait till we face like a Man City, a Man U, a Chelsea, a Liverpool. You're really going to see the difference now with this new gameplay mod against the bigger teams. So let's enjoy these wins. It, it makes these matches like even more crucial because you, you need to beat these lower down teams. Because when you're against the big boys, it's going to get tough. Annual has been life changing, game changing, literally rejuvenated this series, ladies and gentlemen. Go into full manual. Tyrese Tinabu, Martinelli. I thought it was going to come one more. Went for goal. 64. But we're even controlling possession too. We're even controlling possession. Short corner. TT. Edge of the box. If you need. Oh, he took his time. Took his time. Ronaldo. Not. Oh, he took so long to lay it off. I didn't want to call for it, you know. Took so long. Inside two. Ronaldo. One more for Tyrese Tinabu. Touch and shot. See those ones. It's on target, which is good. But he needs to start slotting those into the corner. Another good effort. Tinabu, now to Wijnaldum. Martinelli, for some reason, chips it up. We hold on to possession, though, Martinelli. Back to TP5. Zinchenko. Ball in, no, headed clear. It was party, of course. Playing that false nine roll, TT sometimes has to drift into the middle to help the wingers. Here is Gabriel Martinelli now in the box, tackled, but Tyrus Tinabu helping. Was that our foul? I think it was. A 2 0 lead going into the break with a goal to TT's name. We'll take that if. We can defend this last corner, of course. I don't like how the referee keeps letting them play on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get it out. Well done. Well, not fully cleared. TT's back to help out. Wijnaldum. Well done. 
It's always a foul. Always a foul against us. They've had no shots. 68% possession. This is the start of the season we wanted. I'm glad they gave us Middlesbrough at home for the first game of the season. Nice, easy introduction to our first full year with the Gunners. Nice touchdown. Up to Nelly Boy. Trying to lay it off to Tyrese. Oh, defender just got there in time. Ball up in the middle, lovely. Tinabu. Over to Martinelli. Really forcing him out wide. TT is centre if Martinelli needs. And he does. One more for Wijnaldum. Back out to Martinelli. Tyrus Tinabu stays edge of the box because him being in the box doesn't really help anyone. Oh, word of God. Also not great in the air. Almost got his double. Header off the post. Oh my God, what a ball that was. What an effort. Off the woodwork and out. Nice one to TT and Zinni. We are playing some amazing football right now. Just about got it off. Marnelli back to Tyrese Tinnabu. Touch and shot. Oh, I think did that deflect? Uh, yes, corner. I was going to say. I don't know if that was a good shot or not, but we get the corner. Corner goes in. Thomas Party for a post. Oh, TT was right there. T uh, TT was right there. He should have stayed there. But he went edge of the box instead, where he is now. Oh, stupid. Well, bad clearance, though. Tyrese. Ref, ref. Oh, oh, foul. Oh, foul. How on earth is that? Oh, foul. T staying up top, it looks like. But again, with Jesus, the good thing is they can swap in and out. You know, he can like, like here. TT can go down to the left hand side. Jesus goes to the middle and vice versa. It's nice and interchangeable. Wayward. Things we love to see. That guy looks so much like Kolasinac. It's crazy, that. Alex Mauer, fella. Don't know if he does in real life or not. But he's pressing. Oh, Tyrese. Lovely flick. Jesus should have come back to TT there, man. For the opener, of course, has a goal to his name in front of the defender. Oh, I would have loved to have seen him score a header. I really would. Nice ball up by Odegaard. Headed on by Tyrese Tinabu. Jesus. Oh, won it back nicely. Oh, bad pass. Tyrese Tinabu will take it, though. GG. Oh, too much. Too much on it. The space up here. Tyrese has no stamina, though. But if we can clear it out, if we can clear it down line, oh, there's no in here. Boys, what a way to start the season, though. After a, such a skeptical, I mean, we would not have won this game. This is like one of those games. We would not have won this last season. We would not have won this last season. Just goes to show a new year for Tyrone. I know a lot, some people are saying maybe go to Man City, this and that. Not only do Man City obviously not want TT right now, but this is going to be a different Arsenal team this year. It's going to be a different Arsenal team, ladies and gentlemen. A goal for Tyrese. A goal and assist for Odegaard. A great start to this season. We kept them to one shot. Nine shots, five on target. 63% possession. This Arsenal team is here to stay. He's getting 10 goals or 10 assists this season. We're battling for the league title. Battling for the, uh, the trophies. And getting top four. It's going to be a fun, fun season. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, please do leave a thumbs up on the video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one. Much of as always, take care and peace. Oh.